Hello everyone, welcome back or welcome if you're new. Today we are talking about these Amica uh, Making Waves. Um, high Tide Deep Waver, I guess it's not Making Waves. <laughs> Okay, um, high tide deep waver. It's the um, it's the only one that Amika has, and it's the the three prongs. Um, I just finished with this literally maybe ten minutes ago, and this is what it looks like. Demo is coming, but I wanted to kind of talk with you about it. Um, it's it's a pretty good size. I mean, it's wide, so you'll get down with your hair really fast. I like that it's got this stand to kind of cool down the um, uh, the device so you're not burning your countertop or anything if you don't have a silicone um, mat, which I don't. So this is really helpful, putting it down there, you know, when you're messing with your hair. Um, I bought mine last year and it's, it's holding up really good. I really don't use it much, much. Uh, once in a while, I'll pull it out and just kind of do these kind of wave my... My liking is more of a like a curl curl and not like these, but it's good once in a while to just kind of break from the <laughs> from the pattern and do a different thing. So this is what it looks like. Um, my hair is quite thin and it's quite poofy. So it's kind of frizzy as well. It does hold the curl and this lasts me for until I wash my hair again. So I know it's, it doesn't look like it's too, too much, but this is what I got. I try not to leave it on my hair too long because I don't want it to burn. So that's gonna matter, you know, how long you're gonna keep it on your hair and also what temperature you use. I use this on 180 Celsius. Uh, I'll have to put up how much um, Fahrenheit is there, but they're in Celsius and it's got, I think it's got like four settings. Um, it goes really pretty high actually. I'll put it on the screen too. But yeah, it's definitely uh, something to look for if you're interesting. I, I came, I chose this one because of all of the features that it had and because it was so highly rated and I wanted a waiver like this a beach waiver like this and so this to me was the best on the market for what i wanted and um the deals also helped too so i waited for a deal so you wait for a deal if you're interested but yeah this is what it looks like 10 minutes after and um i will come back with the actual review <laughs> Okay, uh, the demo is coming right up. I'm not sure if you can see that, it's just how it's heating up. You might be able to see if I get it closer or maybe go on the side. But anyways, it, it heats up relatively quickly. It doesn't take too long to heat up. So I put it usually between 180 and 190 Celsius. But while that heats up, I usually put it 180. Um, let's talk about it. This is my hair after it's been air dried and I slept last night with it like that after it air dried. Um, and then I have a line here, <laughs> a lovely line. And then um, I put it kind of like in a low ponytail for the morning part because it was kind of... I didn't like it like this. So I'm gonna show you how I use this Amica. Um, I usually section my hair in three. So the crown part, my hair is quite long, not as long as others, but and not as long as it's been, but um, definitely long enough to where it causes trouble <laughs> when I put it up. So I like to first, of course, brush it as you put it as before you put it up and then great that's very attractive not okay <laughs> and then kind of the other side the other um in the middle there there oh see what i'm telling you when it's long like this it does not want to stay still all right and then the bottom part, the last part, is just whatever's left here. And I never do it the same. I just, it is at 180. It's already heated up. I usually section in like three or four. It depends on, depends on how, what, where. And with this, because it's so flat, it's got three, 
two on the bottom, one on the top, and it just lifts like that. Um, you kind of want it to be flat and not too chunky. So the back there, it's kind of a little, a little dangerous, not dangerous, but a little tricky. I hope you can see. And then, yeah, that was not a good chunk, is it? Let's redo that. <laughs> Let's redo it. Okay. Let's try again. It's hard to see in the back there. Sometimes it doesn't get in properly. So I'll just leave it for a few seconds and then move on to the next. And to the next. And hopefully you can tell. And then that. And literally I just leave it on the back there. I first pick up whatever is underneath so I can actually get that part. At, well, at some point I might speed this off so you're not sitting here staring at me doing it for what it's gonna look or feel like eternity. It's not eternity but it definitely feels like it when you're just sitting there looking for someone to get their hair done. And I don't just go on one way, I go in multiple ways. I think that adds to volume and it makes it break down because it is um because it is such a such a shape that it's just well will definitely give you the same you know waves if you start it at the same same type place but if you kind of you know move it around to where it's not not starting the same way or it doesn't go in the same thing um gives you a little more volume and uh, i like that you see the underneath now and when you go to the next one don't pull on it because you're gonna just kind of ruin that nice curl and if there's something left like this i just leave it adds to the character not bad huh? all right well the bottom part is done so i'm just undoing the second my hair is not very thick so because of that i don't really have a hard time um, spending a lot of time, you know, I don't spend too much time. Okay, I did. <laughs> Hold on. I need to share it off. It was too thick in there. That's the only bad part about this is when it's, when you bring it in the back, you really can't see. And because the opening is not too thick or too wide, it's kind of hard. And you will know your hair and you know how much you need to hold it on. Also, you can experiment. I'm not keen on just, you know, having a lot of time on it. Just for, you know, uh, burning purposes. <laughs> I don't want it to burn. So, yeah. Um, before we go any further, I do use a foam. Um, a mousse. After, after I um, kind of towel dry my hair, I leave it in, in a little um, wrap for, I don't know, five minutes. Then I put the mousse on. And after that, I actually, um, I use a heat protector. And I'll show you in a second after I'm done with this side, which one I use. And then I also use something for, um, let's go this way so you can see. Kind of like a shine or kind of like a, moisture thingy i'll show you all right so i've been using these mousse and i'm like it's like almost gone it's okay it's good and then i use these um giovanni ultra moist dual action protective leave-in spray for dry damaged hair protect and smooth blah, blah blah um i use this one and it's like i i can barely get anything out really liked it and then I also use this one, anti-freeze, and that's like after these. But I definitely do it while it's damp because um, I feel like I don't wanna, I don't want to get my hair done when it's wet because that's just gonna 
help it damage more. <laughs> I know help is not a the appropriate word, but it's just gonna make it um get burnt faster. You can actually see the steam going out if you have your hair kind of wet or damp. So I prefer to do it after. Plus it soaks much better when you're when you're doing it right after you um right after it, it's kind of damp, not right after, but when it's damp. I feel like it, it holds better. With these pieces, I like to go up because it kind of offers a little more volume. We'll see how much of this talk I'm gonna put on or leave on. <laughs> Unless you wanna see it like real time because a lot of times when you're seeing things like in reels, that turn out really pretty. Ooh, look how pretty that is. Yes. Okay. Um, these clips are the bomb. These are so good. I have not, they're not the plasticky plastic, like the shiny one. These are kind of like a matte. Hold on. I'll show you after. Um, they're kind of matte. I get it from Target. I have so many because I have them all over the house and I lose them. And then I go back to it and then I find them and I put them in my drawer and then, then I lose them again <laughs> because they're dispersed all throughout the house. Plus I use it for the girls' buns as well. So, okay. What way? This way. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> That's not very cool. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna take a little more here. Kinda so you can kinda go on the crown a little more. But I need to have it a little like hold it a little lower so that I can actually control it. There. Oh, not almost. Holy smokes, get in there. Okay, we did it. Okay. Now the, the top part of my hair, I kind of like it to be just a tiny bit longer in there, just because I feel like the top will show more the curl. That's nice. I know I look kind of weird now, so don't, don't look at that. Yep. All right, and these, it's a big chunk. I'm gonna do it all. Because it is kind of flatty, flat, not flat. It's not very chunky chunk. It's kind of like a flat one. So I don't count. I usually when I do, when I do, um, when I curl my hair, I do count. I have a count. But with this one, not really, not so much. My hair is curly, but it's not very curly. It used to be more actually, but as the years progressed, um, it didn't uh, it didn't keep that much curl. Sometimes it's more than others. It also depends on what I wash it with. I used to be a very fanatic of the uh, mousse, and I would put it on and just crunch it. It turned out so nice, but I haven't done that in a while. That's just gonna lay like. That. This is part of that. Just gonna do this one like this. And I know that there's gonna be a lot of deals this time of year. So just, you know, do your research, see what you actually need. Okay, I'm gonna split, split this in half. All right, I'm gonna do this part first. And I hope it's not too echoey here because, you know, it's a bathroom. <laughs> so it can be echoey in the bathroom. Okay, and then the last. All right.
is this 90s throwback 80s 90s throwback okay now um i usually let my hair kind of cool down and not mess with it um until it really cools down because i don't want to mess with the curls and it's warm so i want to just let it be um i'll let it for like five minutes and then i'll come back and i will just show you how kind of how it looks and i will toss it or tussle it around it looks like this one is more defined than this one here i might have just spent more time here than here but that's okay at least it gives you a chance to actually see the difference too you know but i'll let it be and then i'll come back in about five minutes to just show you how it looks so it's been about five minutes since i finished so let's just tussle it around and kind of see what we're working with what I like about this one is that it really gives you, there's a loose hair, always gotta catch those. <laughs> it really gives you volume because of the way that it is and because of the, the, the ways of it, it really gives you volume. Now, I'm not too keen on the actual, actual wave that it gives, though sometimes I do do it. Um, it's nice to have. Um, it's not really a necessity unless you really like hair like this. This is kind of like, how my hair used to look when I was younger. And um, I didn't like it then, you know, I like it now. <laughs> I wish it was a little more curly now, but when I was younger, you know, I didn't really care for it. I wanted it straight. So I would flat iron my hair big time. So yeah, uh, you would not really catch me like this many days, but um, yeah, it's just, this is what it looks like. If you, like this type of it this is for you if you do not like it um it is not for you like i say it does hold um the curl it does unless of course you like get caught in the rain or something and then you lose it but it does hold the um, uh the cow the the pattern um and now you also know your hair so my hair does hold it my hair bends the way the way i put it if i put it a certain way I will make a bend there so i gotta watch what i do but because of that it also holds so um at this point i would hairspray if i wanted i usually don't use hairspray unless it's like really freezy on top and then i just want to kind of smooth out the top but other than that um yeah it holds really nice it it's it's a nice hairstyle especially if you like that was my foot by the way if especially if you like the um the pattern you know I'm gonna come like this so you can actually see. It, it covers nicely um, in the back, you know, like your crown and all that. Because it's such a wide plate, um, it definitely covers a lot of surface. So if you put it in there, it's really gonna cover up nicely in the back of your crown there. So yeah, this is it. I hope you liked it. I usually keep the same um, hairstyle until I wash it again. So for example, I washed it last night, curl it in the morning, and then um, I keep it like that until I wash my hair again. So today is, oh my gosh, it's Friday. <laughs> today is Friday and I'll wash it again, probably Sunday night, max Monday, but usually Sunday is when I do it. So I can have it clean for the first, you know, part of the week and get it out of the way. So. Um, this will last me until Sunday. Um, usually I do put it up in a bun when I go to sleep and the curl still stays. Um, I don't really scrunch it in the bun. I put it in a ponytail up and then just kind of loosely um, swirl it and then clip it with one of these that I told you that I was going to show you closer. Um, this is what they look like. They're kind of like a soft, soft matte. Um, it, it's not like those hard plastics and they last so much longer than the regular one it's like a, a medium size it's not like the little ones nor like the big ones these are perfect for my hair i have i was gonna say thin hair it is kind of thin so it definitely works for what i need it to work like if i were to just clip it side to side that's perfect that is perfect um it does do a good job holding it there so like that but yeah, um, I like it. I don't think it's a necessity unless you do like these um, 
type of wave, this type of hairstyle. I will do it once in a while. I don't do it often. My, my base is a curl. It's what I like the most. So I have it. I bought it last year for, uh, I think it was Black Friday, one of the holidays, one of the like big holidays last year. I think it was the Black Friday. That's pretty much when I, <laughs> when I buy most of my big ticket items because that's when they're discounted and some of them are half off. So this is the second day after I did the hair. I uh, just want to kind of show you how it looks after I take it down. So this is my bun. Um, always, I always sleep with the bun on unless uh, my hair is freshly washed and then I just let it air dry and I sleep with it like that because otherwise it just takes the, the shape of it and it offers less volume. So. I'm gonna take it down. Um, there's nothing happening here but sunscreen. <laughs> I did wash my face, put my skincare on, and it's sunscreen. But um, I'm getting ready for the day, so I'm gonna show you how it looks. It is 11 o'clock, it's a Saturday, so I don't have to get ready early. And then, um, it's, my, it's my pony. And then this is what it looks like after it's been like that the whole night. And I put it on before I took my shower last night. So it must have been just after eight sometime. Um, this is what it looks like, but it needs to be used because of course it's quite, quite unruly. Um, sometimes when it is like these, I, what I do is, cause it definitely does not look nice right now. I mean, there we go. I can see myself. Um, what I do, yeah, it does not look nice at all, does it? <laughs> Okay, sometimes it happens this way. And what I do actually, I just, for the time that I'm getting ready, just so that I can get, um, so I can get it to be behaving the way I want it, uh, what I do is I just take it and I either put it in a ponytail, low ponytail or whatever it is that I need to tame, or I just will put it from the sides here and just kind of clip it in the back with a little clipper, just so that it can calm down a bit. By the time I'm ready, to get out the door or whatever. If I don't have to go nowhere, I'll just do whatever just to make it look nice and all that. Um, but this is the wave that has been left from that. I guess I shouldn't have done the clipping. Hold on, let's take it off so we can look at the wave first. That's what it looks like. I'll turn around. Definitely putting it in a bun does do something to it, to where it's not, um, it's not as much as the wave that you put it on, you know, it's gonna change a bit unless your hair just keeps that. But mine just takes whatever shape I give it. So if I'll put it in a bun, um, it will take the shape of that bun. So yeah, it's gonna calm down a bit and then I'll show you after I get done with my makeup and all. So I just got done with my makeup. Um, I did change a little bit from all of these that was back to just a little bit because I wanted it to look a little nicer <laughs> for the video that I was filming. So let's look at how it is acting now. Um, it's, yeah, as we can see, it's, it's calmed down and it's been maybe half an hour, about there. Um, just enough to kind of calm the hair down, kind of poofiness, all that swirl that my um, bun has done. And I think it looks really nice. It's like I said, it's not my favorite, but it works for a change. And then I also kind of go like this. If I see it's still too puffy or poofy, um, I just kind of my signature move a little bit on the side here. Uh, but yeah, um, as far as the wave goes, Still somewhat there, it depends. Like I saw that underneath here, the wave was from the, um, from the, um, uh, <laughs> from the ones that I did it, um, it's still there, but it's definitely not how I did it yesterday. You can still see like somehow, somewhat, but um, yeah, it's, this is just how it looks. I just, I think it's okay. You know, it's not, like I said, it's not my favorite, but it's definitely fun to have and change up some things because we get bored with just doing the hair in the same way, the same look. So it's nice to kind of change. And if you have like a Halloween, um, you know, event 
or something not necessarily just Halloween but just to like the parties you know where they have themes you can just do these like for mermaid hair or for like this what was that 60s 70s 80s I don't even know I wasn't born then so I don't know <laughs> I should know though so anyways guys this is what it looks like um, this is how I'm gonna wear it unless it bugs me and then I'll just kind of put it up a little bit in the front here sometimes it bugs me because it's just in the face and uh, or I'll just go like this both sides but yep yeah, this is what it's looking uh, it gives me the volume that I want up here because I don't really have much volume up here especially my hair is poofy but the roots seem to not care about that and not take on to the rest of the hair to kind of put a little more volume up there but we're working on it you know just little by little we'll find things that work so Anyways, guys, this is it. I hope you liked it. I might come in uh, tomorrow to show you just a little clip it and how, how it's looking the third day. Good morning, <coughs> froggy boys. Um, it's my hair for the third day after the bun and the crazy night. So we're gonna undo together and see how it actually looks. Got pink in there. See what I'm telling you about? My hair holds a curl. As soon as I put it in a, in a bun, it will hold that Kind of like the bun it it helps if you have a curl already because once you have a curl once i have a curl it definitely stays better <laughs> the crown of my hair looks like it's not happy all right same thing like yesterday uh quite unflattering here but i can do this and that will help also, my hair is starting to get a little, you know, greasy on the top. Um, dry shampoo definitely helps with that. Let's come in close. Uh, it's literally morning. I just um, had my, not even finished my first coffee, but I got to go pick the little one from a sleepover. So put some sunscreen on, hair down, and then out the door. Um, I think it looks good. There's the curl. Not much left, but still enough to kind of offer some definition. For the third day, I think it's great. Um, if I look in the mirror and I feel like it's just too oily and whatever, just so I don't put the sunscreen, not sunscreen, don't put sunscreen in there. Um, just so I don't put the dry shampoo because I'm gonna wash it tonight, I probably would just uh, put it in a ponytail or like a bun again. And then uh, the ponytail will definitely look nice and fluffy. I do like to put it a little higher to kind of disguise the uh, <laughs> the little greasiness. And now I'm gonna have a pink wrap around. And you know what? That's fine. Pink is happy. And I go like this a bit to kind of bring it up. I can't really see myself. The mirror in the back there does not want to show me properly. I can't see. But anyways, this is probably gonna be it. Yeah, that's gotta. This is how I'm going to leave it. Pull down a bit of these fuzzes here, just to make it look nice and a little more filled up. And this is it for the day. That's how I'm gonna wear my hair today. It's definitely quite wavy there. Okay, this is it for the third day. Tonight I'm gonna wash it. Yeah, I'm gonna wash it because I was gonna say maybe I'll wash it tomorrow night, but the greasiness up there has gotta it's gotta have some help so if i'm not putting dry shampoo i'm definitely washing it tonight so tomorrow i'm definitely going back to the curl because i like to alternate but i also like the curl better uh, hope you enjoyed it hope you're gonna start the progression of it and how it's gonna look now of course if you're gonna uh not put in a bun it's gonna look differently if you're gonna have it in a ponytail it's gonna look differently um, it, whatever you do to your hair, it's gonna be how it's gonna look, you know what I mean? So this is my take on, that's what I always do at night, I just put in a, in a bun. I don't like my hair down, I don't like to roll in it, it just is uncomfortable for me, it feels like it's scratching and I feel, I almost feel like I'm putting stuff on my face and with acne prone skin, I definitely want to keep it up, so... Um, yep, this is me. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you do pick it up or if you do have it, let me know your experience with it. Um, maybe we can learn something and maybe I can learn something new and uh, do it differently. Maybe last longer or I don't know. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.